Settle down with the breath. Make the breath your home, a place where you can stay. It's only when you can stay in place that the mind can actually rest. Because if you're staying in one place and it's not pleasant, then you can be really miserable. So learn how to make this a good place to stay. Find out what kind of breathing feels best, what's most energizing for the body when it needs to be energized, calming when it needs to be calmed. And then learn how to maintain that. Otherwise you're like a person moving in and out of the house all the time. Pack up all your stuff, and then you go and then you come back in and you have to unpack your stuff. That gets tiresome after a while, whereas if everything is in its place, everything is well arranged inside. Come back home and there you are, everything is in place. I mean, there are times when you have to go out and think about other things, but when you come back, if, if the breath is good sh in good shape and you know how to be comfortable with any kind of breathing, then it's easy to come back and to stay and to have a sense of well-being. And when the mind can rest like this, then it can begin to relax and then open itself up. Otherwise it's always tensed, ready to go. But when you can relax like this, the image that comes to mind is of a cat relaxing in a pool of sunlight. It basically dissolves as if it didn't have any bones at all. Or you use your mind to open up like that so you can see what's going on inside. Because we rest not simply to rest, we rest because there's work to be done as the mind is rested, as the mind is still. We're going to begin to see all of its defilements and all of its major defilements and minor defilements. The various ways in which greed, aversion, and delusion work themselves out. And it's like further cleaning your house. Because as long as you hold on to these things, and a lot of these things are, have a lot to do with your sense of personal identity. You are the person you are because you hold on to the, your pride, you hold on to all kinds of tricks that the mind has. You've learned, got to learn how to see the dangers of the things. You can't let them stay in the house. So try to create a place where you can do this systematically. And consistently, and you can do it again and again and again, because it requires coming back again and again. You think you've cleaned things out, and then you open things up a little bit more, oh, there's more to be cleaned out. Open up more, oh, there's more to be cleaned out. But you've got a good place to do it. Just remind yourself that that's why we're here, to straighten out our minds. Everything else goes secondary. Now, there are times when you're generous with your time, generous with your knowledge. That's the way we help one another along here in the community. But the real work has to be done inside. So make sure that you give a lot of time to ferreting out where your defilements are. Because otherwise, even though the house may be nice, You've got a nice breath, but there's still something eating away at the mind. And as long as you don't address that, there's going to be no real peace. <laughs>